Hey viewers, you may have seen me use this tool in some of my videos. It's a Park Tool Professional Wheel Alignment Gauge Model WAG4, also known as a dishing tool. And what it's used for is aligning the wheel so that the rim is centered between the dropouts. Well, it's kind of an expensive tool. This one costs about 50 to 60 bucks, but I'm gonna show you how to make a cheap and easy homemade version of this. To make my dishing tool, I'm gonna to use a piece of two by four lumber here, and I wanna measure out, I wanna cut this to about 26 inches. You can make yours a little bit longer. I wouldn't really go much shorter than that. So I'm gonna mark it right here at 26 inches. Now I wanna cut across at a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna be using my miter saw. If you don't have a miter saw, you can use this as a hand saw, it just takes longer. Like that. Now I wanna mark the center here. Since it's 26 inches long, the center would be right at 13 inches. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a mark right there at 13 inches. And I also wanna make a mark down about three quarters of an inch down right here. So right like that. So just make a little mark there, right there, and then a three quarters of an inch down like that. Now I want to trace a, a curve along here. So I have an old 27 inch rim here. I'm going to put a little spacer under here to kind of lift that up a little bit. And then I'm going to use this rim. I'm going to line the edge of the rim up here with that three quarter inch mark down. So I want to like about three quarter inch of wood above the rim there. And then I'm going to get the rim approximately centered. It doesn't need to be super exact right that, but the, the closer you get to the center, the better. And then I'm going to trace a curved line around here, like that. Now I place some uh, boards under each end to kind of lift this up off the, uh, the table here. And I'm going to be using a, a jigsaw here to cut this curved line. Now if you don't have a jigsaw, again, you can use a hand saw in there. It's just going to take a while, but I have the jigsaw, that's what I'm going to use. Now on my dishing tool, it's got this indicator gauge that slides up and down and they can lock into place. And then that uh, measures the rim to hub alignment on each side of the wheel. I need something like that on mine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole down through there and I'm gonna put a bolt. And I can screw this bolt in or out and that will be my indicator gauge. So I have my piece of wood here with the curve cut out and I'm going to flip it over on this edge and I want to mark it in the middle. So again, it was 26 inches long, so I want to mark it right at 13 inches, just right in the middle, just like that. Now the bolt I'm using is a quarter inch by two and a half inches. Uh, if you live in a country that uses metric, feel free to use metric equivalents of all this stuff. Nothing is super exact but you know, the stuff in inches is much more easily available to me. So since I'm using a quarter inch bolt, I wanna use a drill that is slightly smaller than a quarter inch. So the next size down is 15 64th. So that's the, the drill that I'm gonna use. Now I wanna drill right down through the middle here. I wanna try to do it as straight as possible. I'm using an electric drill. If you don't have an electric drill, use a hand drill. If you have drill press, use that. Uh, if, if you don't have any of these tools, improvise, figure something out. So I have these tools, so I'm using them. So anyway, I'll try to keep, do it as straight as possible. Just like that. Now I'm gonna take my bolt and start screwing it down in through this hole. And it'll be a bit tight. That's okay, I might have to use a wrench to kind of get it all the way in, but with use, it'll probably loosen it up a little bit. You don't want it to be too loose. And so now it's coming down through the bottom here like this. And so now I have the dishing tool done. So let me show you how to use it. You're gonna take your wheel, and for this particular tool, you're gonna to wanna to have the tire off the rim. These parts here, the flat parts, are gonna rest on the rim. And what you're gonna do is you're going to adjust the bolt here, so it comes down and just touches the flat part of the lock nut here. Not the axle, but the flat part of the lock nut that rests against the inside of the dropout of the frame. So do this on one side. And you wanna make sure these are still resting flat against the, uh, the, the uh, rim. Then you can flip the wheel over 
and it should be the exact same on this side. So with these parts resting against the uh, rim, the bolt should come down and just barely touch the lock nut. On, uh, in this case, there's like about a one millimeter gap. So that's uh, nothing really to be concerned about. But if you had a big gap on one side, like five millimeters or something, or if it came down and was resting against the lock nut, and then there was a big gap on the uh, rim there, you know, to where th these things were not resting flat against the rim, then that's an indicator that the dish is off. And so the dish would be adjusted by loosening the spokes on one side and tightening it on the other to bring the hub over uh, relative to the rim. Uh, that goes beyond the scope of this video. But anyway, so that's how to uh, make one of these uh, dishing tools. I uh, hope you found that interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button. Be sure to click the little bell so you get notified when more videos come out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.